Hi there, Johnny here from johnnylipstromstudios.co.uk and welcome to um, the first video in my Studio One 3.5 series and this one is all about the, the fantastic feature Mixer Undo. Now this was the most requested feature over at the Personas forums at forums.personas.com so uh, I think just about everybody is raving about this uh, in, the, in the few days since Studio One 3.5 re was released. So it's very, very cool. And uh, I'm very glad that this is in here. Now, we call it Mixer Undo, but I prefer to call it pretty much Mixer. It's not just Mixer Undo, it's Undo Almost Everything. You can undo almost everything now in Studio One. Um, so you can pretty much cover your tracks on any mistake you made. But the great thing about Mixer Undo is that when you've got lots and lots of tracks, now this, this particular song doesn't have loads, but when you've got lots and lots of tracks and you're scrolling through tracks, it's very easy to accidentally, you know, most people when they try and draw a straight line with their mouse, it's a bit more of a curve and you can easily accidentally, when you're clicking and holding, accidentally stray over here and before you know it, you've accidentally moved this bus. I didn't mean to do that. Now what I now can do in Studio One 3.5 is I can do control and Z and it undoes that. Now, as it happened, I hardly moved it the first time, so it doesn't really matter too much. But the cool thing is I can check. I can go to edit, I can go to history and I've done it, so it's okay. But let's say I moved it much more than that. Let's say I, I did that or something. I moved it up to plus six by mistake didn't want to do that, I do control Z and it goes back to minus 4.8 which is where it should be. Um, now you can really mess up your mix. Let's just say you're at a point where you're mixing and maybe you've mixed a little bit too long and you're starting to think actually maybe this mix is getting a little bit off track uh, and let's say all of these are all over the place. Uh, I'm just really going to put it out of whack now. Uh, and I'll chuck a few of these around as well. So let's say I've, I've gone and done all of this and I'm just like, you know what? I've been mixing too long, probably, and now this sounds awful. Doesn't sound like how I started. Well, I can go up to here. I can go to my history and I can... I can see that the last thing I did, the last good thing I did, was when I was working on the soprano sax. After that, it all kind of went a little bit wonky and a bit weird. So I want to roll it back to the last thing I did on the soprano sax. Well, that's easy enough to do. I grab this blue line and I start moving up. And I start moving up until I get to that last thing I did. And as you could probably see under here, all of these were adjusting themselves back to where they should be. And now normality has been restored. Sanity has been restored to your mix. So Mixer Undo is fantastic, but it doesn't just undo things you do with your faders or your, with your pan sliders. Um, for example, let's take our soprano sax. We've got the fat channel on here. Um, let me just zero this out back to default. Fair test and all that. So let's turn it back on and let's go back to the tube. Okay, so let's, uh, let's just go a little bit crazy with the soprano sax where it comes in on this interlude. And we will just go a bit nuts with it and then we'll undo this. Okay, it's really short this section, but have a listen again. Now let's say we decide that actually that's not only way too loud, but it's way over compressed now, and we've done all of this wrong. Now, I could just go and, and just basically reset it to default. That's one thing I can do, um, but I can. If I wanted to, I could just go Control or Command Z, 
and now the peak reduction is back to zero and the gain is back to 40 which is where it was to start with and I can then go and readjust and everything is fine so you can sky's the limit pretty much with what you can do with undo now there's only one small caveat and I'd like to see this maybe addressed in a future update which it might be and that is in the history let's say all of this was fine all of these adjustments that I made were actually fine and I'm happy with them but let's say this one here this is the one I don't want number two set volume to minus 2.5 Let's say I just want to take that one out, but all of this is okay. At the moment, you can't do that. You can't, I don't think you can anyway. You can't just kind of, no, see? It just um, rolls it all off. So you can't do that as yet, but hopefully, maybe in a future update, update that might happen. You never know. So there we go, Mixer Undo. Get stuck into it, enjoy it. Hope it makes your workflow and your mixing much easier. Until the next video, bye for now.